Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting and today we're diving in, we're talking more about LED walls and I want to show you here a real simple, easy, awesome stage design idea and how to carry it out using LED skirts on a stage piece or riser. Okay, so picture this. You've got a band, and this is where I saw this look first, and it became really popular in the last few years. you got a band, right? You've got risers on stage, right? You've got a drum riser, maybe you've got a keys riser, a bassist on a riser, whatever. You know, you got two to three risers on the stage, four by eight or eight by eight risers, and you want to give it that extra impact, that extra punch of showmanship, of, of attention. Um, it can be a really cool thing. It can be really awesome because it kind of wraps your whole stage. It takes and kind of wraps it up into the, the entire production, kind of brings everything together. What you can do, which is really cool, is just go along your risers and use LED screen as the skirting instead of the typical black skirting. And so in this video, I want to show you how to do that. And in a second video, we're also going to show you how to map it, which is so stinking cool. Okay. So say we're, you know, a, a DJ, right? We're on this riser. And of course, you know, I'm in my studio space. It's not huge. So we've got a screen behind us here. We've just got six panels here of our DVS LED screen. Okay, this is the optic now been replaced by the Visra. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome LED screen that really rocks. And then, you know, we've got our DJ or our band member here on our riser. And then we're going to take this space right here and we're going to fill it with LED panels to be a skirt and two to look awesome and then we're going to map it over on our new video wall channel uh, which we'll go to very shortly so simple process i went ahead and you probably noticed if you've watched previous videos i used to have a, some led here we took that down popped it in the case real quick these are standard square panels from dvs and what we're going to do is build out our riser screen so this process is going to be pretty simple okay i'm going to take the panels and I'm going to build two sets of two or three that just run across this riser. Now, a couple things that are pretty important if you're going to do this. One is you want to make sure your LED wall has edge protection. What that means is I can put this directly on the ground or tilt it slightly back. Okay. Um, but if it's directly flat on the ground like this, it does not impact the edge LEDs. Okay. This isn't standard from all brands but it's something DVS does. It's an extra bonus that protects your panels. Alternatively, you could put fly bars across the bottom, ground stack bars, and do it that way. But we're not doing a full ground stack kit because it's just a panel or two high, and we have the riser back here that we're just simply going to ratchet strap to. So I'm going to take my panels, and I'm basically just going to line up a couple panels here. Okay, line them up, pop them together, come over here. I don't know if you can actually see and just lock them together again you know making sure that i'm protecting my leds so i'm keeping the bases flat i've got all the corner protectors undone and then once they're lined up i'm gonna latch them together perfect so that's two having a friend to help you hold the panel is very helpful but i'm just gonna set this here against right up against my pelican case it's actually not touching it and then take a third panel, attach it in, okay? And so I basically want to essentially prefab this before I put it in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead, got my third panel up, go grab cable. So three powers, three datas, Perfect, and my home run data, let's see, it's over here already, so I'm just going to start it at the end and run it through the panels, okay? So, that means we've got home run data, so we're just going to data right over, through one, through two. Just putting a little loop in the data cable, you may be able to see, just to keep it from pinching under the panels when we move them in a minute. 
and coming out of that panel. So I'm just going to pop it through the handle so I've got it accessible for the jump across. Um, and today we also do have, this is our My Stage stage decks. If you're looking for a stage riser that doesn't suck, that is awesome, um, that allows you to set up at a variety of heights. We're at the default 18-inch uh, bottom, but we could put this higher. We could do a double panel, do the 27-inch option. Um, that would give us, that would really hide our feet completely and any cables on the riser for a really clean look. Um, in this case, we're just doing the 18-inch and our LED panels are about 20 inches, a little bit under 500 millimeters, which means that we are able to hide our hide any cables on the floor, etc. So let's go ahead and then I'm just gonna grab my panels here. Definitely easier and better to do with a friend, but you know. I'm all by myself here in the studio. Okay, and this is where I would recommend um, with your LED panels to, of course, for a live show, take these guys and ratchet strap them together, okay, um, so that they stay nice and happy. Right there, I've got my inlet cables for the other side all ready to go. I can strap it up here to the back. Grab my input data, plug that in. Got my input power ready. We'll plug it in when we're actually all up together. Um, and let me just go grab a quick strap to strap these guys in, and then we'll be right back. All right, did not have a ratchet strap, so I'm just using a rigging strap, which is way overkill, but you know what? It's okay. And then we'll just literally be able to strap them together in the short term. Just do a quick strap, keep it from falling over. Again, I would use a ratchet strap because it keeps your tension better, but this will work for now. Awesome. Then let's go ahead, pause real quick, come back once I've got the other side assembled in place and connected. All right, so I just finished assembling my six panels on my awesome Epic stage skirt. You can see a couple things you're gonna notice. One is that you're pretty much always going to have a seam uh, with most panels you know right here where it comes together right where you know there's going to be a gap and it's generally okay right you could put some gaff tape there um, if you want honestly once you get the walls on and you've got content moving across them it's generally totally fine you can see here i've just popped up my processor it's got my computer's desktop background on it um, these are not mapped at all the ones down here which is why they look all wonky um, but in just a minute we're going to head over to our other channel map this and make it look really epic already it's cool um, in terms of panels that can do a corner uh, we do have options such as dvs's retina if you're interested in that but most kind of entry level to mid-level panels are not going to have that functionality um, I think that's okay though. Like this little gap here, make it black, you know, gaff it if you want. I've seen plenty of tours and bands do this look and not gaff it, and it looks fine. Once you got a light show going, once you got video scrolling across it, it's not really, you know, it's just, it doesn't draw people's eyes. So, with that, guys, if you liked this video and you're thinking about LED walls, this is just another creative, awesome use that you can do to make a cool LED wall setup. If you're digging that, hey, fill out our LED wall calculator or just email us gear at learnstagelighting.com. Uh, if you're looking for LED walls, we are your source uh, that is going to educate you, that's going to look across all the manufacturers and recommend the best fit for you. Now, before I'm totally out of breath, let's go ahead and let's map this thing so that we can have a drummer or a DJ or whatever rocking on top of this riser again the my stage riser also at learning stage lighting gear the easiest riser you can set up as a portable stage riser whatever yourself check that out check out our led walls subscribe here and then head over to our new video channel and we are going to go over there and show you how to map this it's much easier than you might think as long as you have a recent processor Ooh. Yep, so if you've mapped LED in the past, you know how difficult a design like this could be. It's easy today. Okay, let's dive in. We'll see you over at that other video. Thanks.